Would you please welcome our first guest, Betsy Lippett. Hi. Well, here we Betsy are. Betsy Lippett, here we are again. Uh, didn't we used to spend a lot of time together in a truck? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> You know, very, a lot of time, a lot in of close time, quarters in a truck. Very close quarters. We used to have this uh, blue truck that um, it was real good because two people could sit in the front, and then usually you would go park yourself in the back. Well, that's maybe how you remember it. I remember mostly that there were three people in the truck. Yeah, in the front. real squished. And it, uh, in the summer, it wasn't so bad. Uh huh. In the winter, we had our coats on and it got really tight. <laughs> and in the it summer, you could roll down the window and stick your head out, you know, and get. Those but were pretty good years. Yeah, I like those fun. years. Um, we did music on the road. Uh, you put up with all kinds of stuff. Did you know that my favorite part was rehearsal? It was like, ooh, Betsy, can't we do this just three or six more times? And you were always real polite, and you would always say yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> what could you do? We did have fun in, re in rehearsing like that, yeah. coming up with ideas. Yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah. It was the light bulb stage of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you're doing um, music therapy these days as well as uh, performing. What's the music therapy stuff? Uh, Good Sam Hospital? Yeah, Good Samaritan Hospital. And I work about one third time, 13 to 15 hours a week doing that. And um, I work in the psych psychiatric department. That's hard for me to say. <laughs> and. Uh, I like it a lot. It's nice. And the people in my particular small department of therapeutic recreation, um, there are four of us, and we're all really different, so it's interesting to see different people working Okay, so together. what do you do? So, so here I come. I've got a problem, and you'd say, sing, you'll feel, feel better. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Or I could say, listen, and you'll feel better. That would be um, real good for me. It, I use it in various ways. I have I use it as lyric discussion, bring in a song and have the lyrics typed up and listen to it pertaining to a particular issue, separation or um, loneliness or celebration, you know, feeling good about hope, things like that, and listen to it and then we talk about it, you know, and whatever comes out of that, personal experiences or what the song means. How many people are usually in your groups? Anywhere from 3 to 15. And, Do you um, like the, the small age, ones or the big ones? The big ones are good, when especially when people are involved. And usually, you know, the usually not always. The more people there are, the more involvement there is, the more energy that things get lighter and a little bit more. Um, Do you ever play fun. the guitar for? Them? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I've you know been concerned a few times you know about playing Aphrodite Love, which is one of the songs that I wrote. It's real sad and real you know cathartic and like most. <laughs> But um, where is this going to be sending these people? Right, but uh, actually, some people that's been really a favorite of theirs, and it's and they've, you know, accepted going through, you know, feeling sad or you know those kind of lonely things at, in order to find out what's at the other end. Didn't you uh, try to get uh, your training in music therapy from CCM, where we both went to school, e and they said they ke what they kept on saying. Oh, next year for sure we'll have a problem. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I wanted. I always figured I'd either be a some kind of musician or school teacher, um, do some kind of social work. But I liked the idea of traveling, so I thought maybe I would be a missionary. <laughs> <laughs> Where in Cleveland? Right. No, I wanted to. <laughs> her favorite word, Cleveland. I thought I I just like that idea of traveling to different yeah. places and um, and helping people and doing things with people and. Anyway, so it turned into music therapy, and I did go to UC trying to do that in CCM. And I uh, took extra courses in the summer, went up to Bowling Green, and spent my first summer away living alone. And then where did you finally graduate from? I graduated. Uh, uh, I know this, Mount St. Joe's? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it took me 18 years, I think it was, to Jeez. finish school. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of Just traveling. Just right on between. time. Yeah. yeah, right on time. Uh -huh. I'm a little turtle. Yeah. <laughs> but I get there. But you get there. That's right. And I really liked your uh, your recital that you did for your for your uh, to get your degree. Mm -hmm. um, it's really nice. Yeah. It's like real singing, you know. Yeah, I worked real hard for that. It was it was neat, and I enjoyed it. It helped a lot. Took some took a lot of voice lessons, and I just they showed up. Yeah, and it was funny because you know I was there with just a piano or this one piece. There was a little string 
combo. And uh, I was thinking, am I going to be really nervous? You know, because I'm there with the, no microphone. I did have music for some songs, but mostly I was supposed to stand there like this with a piano, you know, Sylvia yeah. Mitchell playing piano and uh, accompanying me. And uh, But it, it, I just got into this mode of it's performing, and I enjoy performing, and I feel real, basically pretty comfortable with it and relating with people and, and the music itself. So I just sort of clicked into, you know, the feeling in the creation of music and space. And I wasn't nearly as nervous as I thought I'd be. It sounded real nice. You looked real comfortable. Mm -hmm. I and liked a dress. It. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Of was and a little a corsage. Weird... Who gave you the corsage? My mother. I knew it. Well, my parents. They were nice. Not to see, it was nice to see them there. I liked seeing them there. Are they going to come to the March 10th concert? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I could ask them. Yes, definitely. I might do my that. mother's going to be there. Oh, well, they can meet. My, <laughs> my mother and all my 10,000 Italian relatives. <laughs> right. It'll be really good. Uh, March 10th, uh, there's going to be this concert we all know about. Um, and it's going to be, um, you're going to be doing, uh, you have this wonderful shirt on. You're going to be doing. Um, you're going to be doing uh, this longest night, which is a piece. this longest song. <laughs> this longest song. This longest pain in the butt. This longest uh, process. Uh, you've got a shirt on for the March 10th mm -hmm. concert. Aren't these for sale? Yes, they are. They're at, they, I just heard about this this morning. I think these figures are correct. Twelve dollars. Yes. Unsigned. That's right. Sixteen dollars. Therese signs them. That's right, because it takes me <laughs> 10 years. So I'm going to have her sign something. mine. Oh, I definitely will. And it says, For Teresa over here, that's a song I wrote. That that's makes right. me feel real good. Uh, that's good. I like this a lot. Uh, Ursula Roma uh, started out with the design. I put my six cents worth in there. Uh. And then um, Chris Wells is taking care of it. I think on the um, uh, screen we can show the address where people can get the t-shirts and stuff. Uh, they just send all this money. Really what the money's going to go for, Stell Riley thought of this idea, the money's going to go for um, recording the uh, March 10th concert. Um, because once it starts, I mean, we want to get it down. And um, so I think it's going to be really good, but it, um, this is a way to pay for the for the recording and stuff. Do anyway, people know where this concert is? Uh, St. John's. No. no. Is it? It's no, Kresge. No, no, no. Kresge. Kresge at the University of Cincinnati. No, excuse me. Probably the medical um, Betsy, part of this. Betsy, would you please sing some songs? <laughs> um, we can take a minute here and uh, set you up over there and you can sing some stuff. Um, Let me change my shirt. <laughs> change your shirt. Thank you so much for coming and doing this. Sure. Thank you. You're always one of my favorites, you know. What do you need? I, I'll come back anytime. Please and you're my do. favorite, too. Yeah. I hear you. <laughs> this is Betsy Lippett. We'll be seeing from her. <laughs> 